All right, my name is uh, Bob, and I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on using your device. And what I'd like to talk about today is some of just the basic concepts that are involved with our computers. It's interesting that computers will only complete five tasks, and those five tasks are input, output, conditions, math, and repetition. Let me give you an example of each one of those. So in the case of input, I need to use my finger in order to tap on the screen. So if I want to open up my clock, I can tap on the clock and my alarm clock opens up. If I want to uh, go to the calendar, I can tap on the calendar and the output is the calendar opens. So my input affects what the output's going to do. If I'm listening to a song and I bring up music, when I bring up the music, then I'm expecting the sound to happen. Now, if I don't hear the sound, I need to find the correct button to be able to increase the sound. And in this case here, I have a little different setup for bringing up the sound, but I'll bring up the sound uh, to, in order to uh, be able to hear a song. On the side of your device, that's a lot of times where you end up having the buttons to control the, uh, the volume control. So input is very important because normally you're going to be tapping or touching the screen to be able to accomplish that. Now another way you can have input is through the microphone. So if you activate the microphone, as an example, we open up our web browser and when we go down here to, um, uh, to our device, we'll see that we have a small little microphone icon. And that small little microphone, if I tap onto that, that then activates the microphone. I will say what it is that I'm searching for, and then I'll turn the microphone off, select search, and it will go out and find. It's the same thing that I'm doing when I'm typing something in. It's just that I'm using my voice to be able to activate it. So my voice can be input and my touch can be input. Now, every time you touch or have the voice, you expect a certain output. So whether it's looking for the weather, looking for a recipe, lurking, looking how to uh, change a tire on an automobile, whatever you're looking for, you're expecting a certain output once you have that input with it. Now the conditions are very important and normally we're gonna find our conditions in our settings. So with the conditions, it's saying whether it's on or off, just like a door is either closed or open. A light is either on or off. You're either standing or you're sitting. The door is either locked or the door is unlocked. So those are conditions. And on our device, we can set conditions in order to customize how we want our device to be able to operate. Now the math is kind of interesting that because there's billions of transistors that are built into these modern day devices and all of those are doing math. For instance, right now I have this device set up into portrait mode. If I turn the device 90 degrees into the landscape mode, then the, the computer has to readjust everything from the graphics to the text to numbers. Everything that I'm doing has to be resized based on the fact that I went from a very narrow view of my device and I turned it to the long way, the landscape mode, then it has to adjust it accordingly. So all that happens by math and it happens very, very, very quickly. The, the uh, last one is the repetition. For instance, if I open up my alarm clock here and I wanna set my alarm for a particular time is that device is constantly looking at what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? And it's comparing what time it is to what time I set in the device. Now, once it reaches this 7 a.m. as an example, then certain things are gonna happen. It says, yes, the time that's, that's being displayed is exactly what time it is. What do you want me to do? Well, because of conditions, and I'll show you by editing that, I'll open that up. I put in here a label as class. So I know that I need to be going to class when I set that alarm. I also selected what kind of sound that I wanted with it. And if I want to change that sound, it's got that arrow that's pointing to the right. I'm going to tap on that arrow and I can put any kind of sound that I want. So I can customize what sound I use for setting my alarm clock. That way, when the alarm goes off, I know 
Is this time to get up? Is this time to go to class? Is this time to go to work? Is this is time to meet somebody. I can customize the sound that I need. So the input, the output, the conditions, the math, and the repetition, those are the five things that our device will do. And that's what makes our experience a very positive experience.